Unusual ingredients often make for delicious tiki drinks. I'm Brian Johnson, and in this episode of Better Cocktails at Home, we have another drink in our industry series. Now, this drink is called the Drunken Helmsman, and it was created by Jason Alexander of the Tacoma Cabana. Now, this is a uh, local tiki bar where I live, and it's a, a great bar. I love it, and uh, he does a really good job there. Um, he created this one, and I really liked it, so I want to do it on the show. So here we are. So we're going to make it right now. So to start with, I like to do my citrus first. Now, uh, I like to double strain my citrus uh, as I'm juicing it because we're gonna shake this cocktail in, we're just gonna dump it directly into our glass so we would not be straining it again. So we wanna get out any pulp ahead of time. Um, and we're gonna do one ounce of lime juice. All right, three lime halves to get an ounce, which is why recipes that call for juice of one lime or juice of half a lime are not really designed well because not all limes produce the same amount of juice. They often vary greatly. So it's much better to design them uh, with an amount in mind. So add that to our Boston shaker. Now we're gonna start some of the sweeteners and Jason uses maple syrup in this. So we're going to do half ounce of maple syrup. And that to our mixing tin. Now the next sweetener is uh, falernum. Now falernum is a kind of a syrup, um, some like alcoholic, some is not alcoholic, um, out of the uh, Caribbean and it's like spicy, very it's kind of lime. Um, but it's a really nice thing. He makes his own, uh, which is what I'm using here. But he said that um, John D. Taylor's Velvet Falernum is probably a good um, good match, good substitution for not making his own stuff. So we're going to half ounce of this and add that. Now the next ingredient, that's kind of one of the one, more unusual ones, is Amaro Maletti. Now this is Amaro, an Italian liqueur that's in the um, bitter family of liqueurs. Um, so it's not necessarily when you think of tiki, generally you think, you know, kind of fruit, citrus, um, kind of sweeter flavors. So when you kind of pair this with the bitterness of an Amaro, um, like Maletti, it's, you know, kind of a little more unusual, but I think it really has a lot of interesting flavors in this drink. We're gonna do half ounce of this. And then add that to our mixer. And finally, we come to the rum. Now, uh, Jason wanted to use, he basically, so when he was creating this cocktail, he wanted to always, he wanted to work on a cocktail that just used overproof rum as his base and that's it, nothing else. Um, so this is the cocktail he made. And for the overproof rum, he likes to use plantation. Um, it's a really nice, rich, overproof rum. And I like it a lot and it's, not too terribly difficult to find. Um, we're gonna do one and a half ounces of this. And add that to our mixing tin. All right, so now we're gonna add our ice. shake really hard because we want to break up the ice chunks especially at home you have pretty solid cubes so you want to really want to get it going all right one of the reasons I like using a Boston shaker for this particular cocktail in cocktails where I shake it and then just pour it directly unstrained into the glass um, you get more ice breakup, 
um, because it travels further in the um, in the Boston shaker than it would in like say a cobbler shaker. So that's one of the reasons I like to use it. So now we're going to pour it directly unstrained into our rocks glass. Now, next important part of this cocktail is the garnish. So um, what we do is we're going to take this and do a kind of a crazy zigzag type pattern. And as Jason told me, um, for the orange peel, he decided that a drunken helmsman would probably never go in a straight line. So, you know, as you get the orange over the drink, you're going to get the orange oils. It kind of just permeates the air. Kind of do whatever pattern you want to, though. you can really smell it. So once you've got your zigzag, it's not, you know, and zigzag like, you can lay that on top of the drink. And then we also are going to garnish with a little bit of mint just to get that flavor. Stick it right down the side. That's the cocktail. It's a, you know, I, I, when I first tasted this from him, I had it, you know, he's had it, he made it a little while ago. Um, I was just like, wow, this is great. And it's one of the things that really struck me is the unusual ingredients um, that kind of go to make this. Like maple syrup, it's a sweetener that you see used in cocktails, not frequently, but, you know, it's not unusual, or not terribly unusual, I should say. I would say it's unusual. Um, you know, flarum is a typical tiki ingredient. The maramoletti is, not really a typical ingredient at all, but I think it adds a lot of the richness in the cocktail. And then when you pair that with the overproof rum, it just kind of gives it the backbone. It's a nice rum to start with, so it just tastes really good. And then the orange and the mint um, and the garnish is really nice. So, you know, I was really impressed with the cocktail. I was really excited that he, uh, he gave me the recipe so we can make it on the show and that you can make it at home too. And I highly recommend you do. Um, but if you don't, you're ever in Tacoma, you know, go see Jason at Tacoma Cabana and he will be happy to make you a drunken helmsman.